Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Life with Cherry. And today we're going to be going to Spring Ridge Farm in Milton, Ontario. So make sure you guys like and subscribe to this channel. Yeah. Might have to hold this for me when I pay because I have to pay to get in. Okay. Hold this for me. Yeah. Okay, here, hold it for me, Jaden. Oh. 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 An hour, okay. Okay, thank you, dear. Yeah. 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 So the the wagon ride. No, this one is a wagon ride. So what time is it now, guys? Why is touching that? Niagara Escarpment is designated as a World Biosphere Region and designated by UNESCO, which is an agency of the United Nations. So all of the all of the uh, Niagara Escarpment Region is uh, protected plants and animals. So this is where we farm, and uh, yeah, we can see down to the skyline of Toronto today. Mm -hmm. Nice clear day. See it in the distance there. Mississauga to the left. That's the town of Milton right in front of us here. And Oakville's about that direction. I can see Mount Nemo down that way. That's that rise in the escarpment. Behind Mount Nemo is the city of Burlington. So that is where we are on the Niagara Escarpment. We've got a couple of nice ponds over here. Now the water from those ponds actually is spring water. The spring water comes from up here on the escarpment and it flows down. Actually, you might be able to hear a little bit of it. It's very quiet. Mm -hmm. the water gurgling. Mm -hmm. kind of hard to hear. 
<laughs> oh, good, okay. Well, your hearing probably is better than I'm going to guess. So, uh, then water actually flows down, fills up our ponds, and those are irrigation ponds. So, what that means is we pump the water from those ponds onto our fields. That's how we water our crops. And we water our crops from spring water from the ridge of the escarpment, spring ridge. Where the farm comes from. <laughs> You can see irrigation pipes in this field here and all the other fields. By the way, this field is pumpkin. Those are pumpkin plants. Pumpkins and gourds. The taller ones on the edges are sunflowers. And we've got exactly the same field, about five times bigger, way down below. And then to the left of that is strawberries, strawberries, strawberries. Now they have flowers as well. We've got some you look carefully, you'll see some yellow flowers on these. I see some yellow weeds on the other side of, they're actually wildflowers, on the other side in the grass there. And I mentioned flowers because I guess you guys know that bees are interested in flowers, right? We do have honeybees at the farm. Those boxes on the other side of the pond are beehives. They're honeybees. And they're looking for pollen and nectar in the flowers, aren't they? Yeah. When they go into our flowers, they pollinate them. That means we get more strawberries, we get more pumpkins because of our honeybees. But we also get something else from our honeybees. Anybody guess what that might be? What do they make? Yes. Honey, yeah. <laughs> hey, make honey. That's right. So we get around eight or nine hundred pounds of honey from our beehives every season. We extract the honey fruit season, put it in jars, and we sell it down in the barn market. So you see spring rich honey, that's where it comes from. And there's like a million bees in there. Something you may not know about honeybees, each one of those beehives, you see there's about ten of them there. There are about ten of them there. Okay, grammar, right? Each one of them's got around sixty to eighty thousand bees, but each one is a colony, and each colony has just one bee in it, and only one bee in it. That is the most important bee. Anybody know what she might be called? The queen bee. Yeah. Now, the reason she's the most important bee is well, there's only one of her start with and the other thing about her is she has to produce and lay eggs that's her job there's only one bee in each colony that can do that and she's got to lay like a thousand eggs every day <laughs> because most of the bees in each colony are worker bees they're the females that do all the work <laughs> There's a life cycle of a worker bee is like six to eight weeks, very short. They don't live very long. So that's why it's important our bee, our queen bee is doing her job, laying a bunch of eggs. And if she doesn't do her job, that's something our beekeepers got to know about. And we have to order a new queen bee. And we often get her from Australia. She gets shipped to us in this little box. She comes uh, Air Canada. <laughs> underneath the freight. And there's a little screen over top of it. There's some food for it. Takes you two or three days to get here. And what our beekeeper has to do is introduce the new queen in a special way. Because remember, there's only one queen bee allowed. What he does is he opens up this little end, this little hole in the end. And the worker bees go inside and eat through her food. And to get to the queen, because that her food plugs up the end. And when they get to her, she they've introduced the scent of the new queen into the colony, so they'll accept the new queen. So that takes about a day to happen, and that's called requeening, important part of keeping bees. So listen, and that's an important part of any farm in the world that's growing any kind of fruit or vegetable. So I'm going to head down, we're going to go by that other pond down there, I'm going to make a really fast stop and just talk quickly about a couple of things, okay? If you guys have any questions, I'd be glad to ask them.
some white geese down on the far side there. You can see them in the water. Uh, those geese are ours. They live here at the pond. They're often called swan geese because they got that nice curved neck like a swan. So the nature of that particular breed of goose doesn't fly. They can't fly. And they do get out of the water. They wander around quite a bit, but they don't fly away. We know that they're not going to fly away on us. But they also can't get away from predators, right? Like coyotes and foxes. What they do to stay safe is what they're doing right now. They stay on the pond. Especially at night, they just, as soon as it gets dark, they go on the pond, they stay there all night. Now something else we have at the farm, or at least up on the escarpment, are deer. Lots of deer. And this is something Farmer Tom found in one of our fields. And this is an antler. And it's from a deer, from a male deer called a buck. And of course, there's one on each side like that. And something you might not know about deer is that their antlers fall off in the fall every season. And each springtime, they grow new antlers. And this happens every season. And as the buck gets bigger, the antlers get bigger. So you can tell about how old this buck was when his antlers fell off by counting one year for each of the points. So he would have been about four years old. Yeah. So we got anybody here that's four years old? He's four. He's four. Okay, there's one. Four times about eight. <laughs> Lots of four years. Now you can't tell it. There's another one. You, know. you can't tell exactly that uh, he was four, but you can tell it. Now. I don't want to tell anybody that Farmer might be lying. <laughs> so listen, I'm going to head back to the tractor corral now. I hope everybody has a really nice rest of the day at the farm. And thank you all for visiting today. What happened, Jaden?
tractor spring ridge that big owl Walking around. Let's see what they have here. It's all about walking around. Who's possessed? Who's possessed? Let's look at them. <gasps> Where's Josh? Better not. He better not get lost. Jump on top. Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh oh. Okay, I want to take a picture of you guys on top. So go, Jaden. You're almost there. Hop up. Yep. Hot rubber. Yeah. We gotta wait, make the babies go first, okay?
I want to bite you. I like it. You like this one? Mm -hmm. Oh, you need money to get their food. One dollar. What? One dollar to get food. Can I do it? Oh, he's waiting. Super, oh, that's the mom coming. Oh, she's gonna hit you if you touch the baby. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, the mom's coming. Oh, 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 don't, oh, Jordan, careful. That's the baby one. Okay, don't hug it, okay, guys? Only two times, and then that's it. Oops, careful, there's mud there, Josh. Yeah, careful. There's mud there. Hmm? Yeah. Let's see the bunnies. Oh, put it back on. You like this one? Yeah, like Oh, that's one. You guys touch him. You have to get pet. You look so cool. Oh, chickens. What the heck? You like when you pet him. Yeah. Are they? No, like oh, look at this big one. Wow. Yeah. You guys like chicken nuggets. Mom, I just want to this I know. Oh, yikes. Oh. Wow. They look like T Rexes. Look at this baby one. Oh, there's a big one right there with the big long horns. Probably the mom or something. So sanitize your hands after using the animal, touching the animals. Where's the sanitizer? It's over there in the corner. But you have to be done touching them, right? Wait, 
You already did. You already touched the goat. The chicken, I don't know. I'll touch that big one. There's a rooster, see that? Mm hmm. Sanitize your hands, then we'll walk around. Okay, sanitize your hands, guys. That's it for touching. Oh, careful, Josh. Oh, watch out. I haven't felt their corn. I know. Oh. All right. You guys want to take a picture on the tractor? You guys didn't sit on the tractor. We'll do the tractors and then there's two tractors, the big ones and the small ones. Josh? Josh? I want to take a picture of you guys, so get on it. Okay, you guys going to smile and say cheese. Up, oh, Josh. How the farmer milks the cow and gets all the milk for your cereal. Yeah, that's where the cow get the milk. Yeah. Yeah, you squeeze it. Wow, you guys know how to milk the cow. Look in the cow. Wow. Hey. Guys, oh, careful. In the bucket. Who's going to have more of it? Josh, we're going to have to choose. Josh, now we're back in the from here. We're going to get from, from out there. Josh, over there. Over oh, there. I know. Out though. Out. Get out. Come, let's go.
no. I'm gonna go in the store and uh, see if I can buy some pies. We'll see if they have any water, but the line is long for food here. Let's see, let me take a picture of their menu. Just so you gotta learn how to read the menu so you can, you can see what it says. Sandwiches, soup, sandwich box special. Yeah. Okay, let's go. We'll, we'll get we'll go somewhere else somewhere else for lunch. somewhere else for lunch. I should have brought my own lunch. Oh, I should have got some corn. Alright. You guys remember where the car is? 